rising tensions between Russia and NATO raise concerns over potential conflict. As geopolitical tensions between Russia and NATO continue to escalate, the possibility of a new war in Europe is becoming a pressing concern. The recent buildup of Russian military forces along the borders of NATO member states, combined with increasingly aggressive rhetoric from both sides, has created a volatile environment reminiscent of the Cold War era. Analysts are warning that without diplomatic intervention, the risk of conflict could become a reality. The catalyst for the current tension can be traced back to several key events. Russia's annexation of Crimea in 2014 and its ongoing involvement in eastern Ukraine have significantly strained relations with NATO. The alliance, in response, has bolstered its presence in eastern Europe, deploying troops and conducting military exercises near Russia's borders. This show of force is intended to deter further Russian aggression but has also been perceived by Moscow as a direct threat. Economic sanctions imposed by Western nations on Russia have further deepened the divide. These measures, aimed at punishing Russia for its actions in Ukraine, have had significant economic repercussions. However, rather than compelling Moscow to change its behavior, the sanctions have often fueled nationalist sentiment and hardened the Kremlin's stance against what it views as Western encroachment. Cyber warfare and disinformation campaigns have also played a crucial role in heightening tensions. Both Russia and NATO countries have accused each other of meddling in domestic affairs through cyber attacks and the spread of false information. These actions undermine trust and complicate diplomatic efforts to de-escalate the situation. The conflict in Ukraine continues to be a flashpoint. Despite various ceasefires and peace agreements, fighting persists in the Donbass region. NATO's support for Ukraine, including military aid and training, is seen by Russia as provocative. Conversely, NATO members argue that their assistance is necessary to help Ukraine defend its sovereignty against Russian aggression. The potential for miscalculation in this high-stakes environment is significant. Military exercises by both Russia and NATO increase the risk of accidental engagements. A single incident, such as a border skirmish or an airspace violation, could quickly spiral out of control, leading to a broader conflict. Current Military Capabilities of Russian NATO As of 2024, NATO's military capabilities are formidable. The alliance comprises 31 member countries with a combined military expenditure exceeding $1 trillion annually. NATO maintains a range of military assets, including advanced aircraft, naval forces, missile defense systems, and a significant number of ground troops. The United States, as the largest NATO member, contributes a substantial portion of the alliance's capabilities, including strategic nuclear forces and a global network of military bases. Russia, on the other hand, has undertaken significant efforts to modernize its military forces over the past two decades. Despite a smaller defense budget compared to NATO, Russia has developed advanced weaponry, including hypersonic missiles, air defense systems, and electronic warfare capabilities. The Russian military has demonstrated its operational effectiveness in conflicts such as Syria and Ukraine. Russia also retains a significant nuclear arsenal, which remains a cornerstone of its military strategy. In addition to conventional military capabilities, both Russia and NATO possess significant cyber warfare and electronic warfare capabilities. Cyber attacks and information warfare have become central components of modern conflicts, with both sides engaging in activities aimed at disrupting each other's military and civilian infrastructure. The current state of military capabilities on both sides underscores the high stakes involved. Any conflict between Russia and NATO would involve highly advanced and destructive technologies, posing severe risks not only to the immediate participants but also to global stability. Potential Scenarios of Conflict and Diplomatic Efforts to Prevent War Potential conflict scenarios. Accidental engagement. A conflict could ignite through accidental engagement. Military exercises conducted near the borders could result in unintended incidents, such as an aircraft being shot down or naval vessels colliding. Given the high tension and rapid response protocols, such an incident could escalate quickly. For instance, a misinterpreted movement by one side could trigger a series of retaliatory actions, leading to broader hostilities. 
Hybrid Warfare Russia could employ hybrid warfare tactics, combining conventional military operations with cyber attacks, disinformation campaigns, and support for separatist movements within NATO countries. These actions would aim to destabilize and weaken NATO from within without triggering a full-scale military response. NATO would then be faced with the challenge of responding to non-conventional threats while maintaining unity among its members. Proxy Conflict The ongoing conflict in Ukraine could escalate into a proxy war, with Russia increasing its support for separatist forces and NATO responding with greater military aid to Ukraine. This scenario could draw NATO and Russia into a direct confrontation, especially if the conflict spills over into neighboring NATO member states, forcing NATO to invoke Article 5, which calls for collective defense. Economic warfare leading to military confrontation. Intensified economic sanctions and cyber attacks could cripple key sectors of the Russian economy, provoking a desperate and aggressive response. Russia might seek to break the economic stranglehold through military action, targeting strategic assets in Europe to force NATO to negotiate on more favorable terms. Diplomatic efforts to prevent conflict. Reviving arms control agreements. Renewing and expanding arms control agreements, such as the New START Treaty, could help reduce the number of deployed strategic nuclear weapons and establish verifiable limits on both sides' arsenals. This would not only decrease the risk of a nuclear confrontation but also build confidence and transparency between Russia and NATO. Establishing Military Communication Channels Direct communication channels between NATO and Russian military leadership are crucial to prevent misunderstandings and manage crises. Hotlines and regular military-to-military -military talks could help de-escalate potential flashpoints and provide a mechanism for immediate conflict resolution. Engaging in regional security dialogues. Establishing inclusive security dialogues that involve not just NATO and Russia but also other key stakeholders, such as the European Union and the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, OSCE, could address broader regional security concerns. These dialogues could focus on conventional arms control, transparency measures, and conflict prevention mechanisms. Confidence Building Measures Confidence-building measures, CBMs, such as mutual inspections of military exercises, exchange of information on military capabilities, and agreements on the placement of troops and equipment can reduce the risk of surprise attacks and foster trust. For example, NATO and Russia could agree to notify each other of large-scale military exercises and allow observers to ensure these activities are not precursors to an attack. Economic and Energy Cooperation Enhancing economic and energy cooperation between Russia and NATO member states could reduce incentives for conflict. Joint projects in areas like energy, trade, and infrastructure development would create mutual dependencies that make conflict less attractive. Establishing mechanisms to manage economic disputes peacefully would also be beneficial. Mediation and Conflict Resolution Mechanisms Utilizing international organizations and neutral countries to mediate disputes between Russia and NATO could help prevent escalation. Mediators could facilitate negotiations on contentious issues and propose compromises acceptable to both sides. The possibility of a new war in Europe remains a deeply concerning prospect, with far-reaching implications for global security. While the military capabilities on both sides create a significant deterrent, the risk of miscalculation and unintended escalation cannot be ignored. Diplomatic efforts focused on arms control, communication, and confidence building are essential to preventing such an outcome. It is imperative for both Russia and NATO to engage in sustained dialogue and cooperation to ensure that Europe does not witness another devastating conflict.